Hello everybody, hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new video. Today I am back with a bargain haul for you. So I've got some bits for Easter, I've got some homeware, I've got a few cleaning supplies, a bit of random, maybe some gift ideas as well. So lots to show you. It's all here waiting to be unboxed. And this video has been sponsored by Cherries who are an online bargain store. And they're really handy because you can shop using their app as well. So I just scroll through on my phone and pop everything into my basket. And then it all arrives in a box like this delivered to your door, which is very handy at the current time especially. And if you're new to Cherries, you can get 20% off using my discount code in the description box down below. So whether you're stocking up for Easter or whether you're wanting to get some cleaning supplies, some food, they do all kinds of stuff. They've got things for pets. They've got all sorts on there. So whatever it is that you're buying, if you are new to Cherries, you can save that 20% off by using the code. And I know a lot of you are already signed up to Cherries and have shopped with them before. And if that's the case, you can also use my code down below to get yourself free delivery. So hopefully that is useful to you and thank you to Cherries for sponsoring this video. So let's get involved. Oh, before we do, quick sip of the coffee. Who do I think I am? Steady on now. And if you're new here and you've just stumbled across this video, hello, it's good to see you here. Please do click subscribe for new videos every single week and give this one a little thumbs up if you enjoy it. Here we are, look. It's full of stuff and there's Easter goodies in here as well, which is very exciting. Now let me know, do any of you do Lent? And if you do Lent, have you given anything up? I just thought it's not a vibe this year. So I haven't given up anything. In fact, I've just bought a load of chocolate, which I'll probably end up eating before Easter. So we'll get involved with that. But let's start off with some of the Easter items. Starting off with some Easter decorations. How about this bad boy? This was only about a pound, I think, which was very good value for something so big. Look at the size of him. So he will look good, I'm thinking, in a window, but also outdoors. So he's made of this kind of tinsel kind of material. Yeah, it says a tinsel plaque on the label there, and he has a very sweet bow on. Probably needs a name. We've got a name for my mate, Mr. Chick. I don't know why I've said it's a boy, but there we are. Um, but yeah, I thought really good. They also had some other options as well. They had eggs as well, this sort of size. And also, if you're into DIY and crafts, you've got the plastic shape here. So if you don't like the vibe of this, if you're not into tinsel, you could strip this off and replace it with something. I'm thinking maybe you could weave some wool through that and do a nice little woven chick instead, if you prefer for that kind of look. But yeah, pretty good going. Nice big size, that one. So I was very impressed with that. It wouldn't be Easter if we didn't get some novelty ears involved. They kind of go with my shirt, don't they? Now I'm the Easter bunny, I guess it's time to deliver you some Easter eggs. This is quite small, by the way. Just um, be aware of that. It's probably meant for children, but there we are. Now I'm the Easter bunny, so I'm gonna get you some Easter eggs. And starting off, we have some larger sized ones. The boxed eggs. I suppose we'll call them. So they have ones from Thornton's. I think these are three pounds each. So remember you'll get that extra 20% off as well if you use the code. We have the white chocolate bunny egg and they also had a milk chocolate version of this one if I remember correctly. Sorry, I'm just making sure my ears are in shot because I feel like that's important. I can't do the rest of the video like that though, can I? I'll get a quick neck. <laughs> so next up, um, we have a slightly smaller one. These are kind of like, I think these are around the one pound mark or something like that, maybe one pound 50. Aero chocolate bubbles. What are we thinking about Aero? Are we a fan of Aero? Or do we feel like all those little chocolate bubbles are a terrible waste of chocolate? But yeah, if you want to get your Easter eggs, do stock up and the convenience of them all being delivered to your door is great. Remember if you're a return <laughs> returning uh, viewer, returning um, shopper, then you can get that free delivery as well, which is always handy. So I've got some packets of sweets as well, and I haven't seen these before. It does say that they're new, and these are the Jelly Babies, but they're chicks. How about that? And I feel like it would be rude not to try one, as we're here and I'm wearing rabbit ears. So let's get involved, and I'll tell you what I think of them. I mean, I presume they're just the same as Jelly Babies, but they're chick-shaped. I feel like there's a colour that a lot of people aren't a fan of. Is it the green one? I think this one's my favourite. Let me know what your one is. 
I've gone for some packets of eggs as well, so I thought these would be quite nice to tip into a jar and then we can just have one or two or seven with a coffee as and when we fancy. So starting off, we have these. Let's rate them out of 10. Enchanted eggs. I'm gonna say, these are up there, aren't they? Are we gonna give these a nine? I think these are delicious. And the fact that they are enchanted, <laughs> well, the fact that they are um, golden, I think gives them that extra, maybe eight and a half. I don't know, but these are delicious. I love them. Then we have Cadbury Oreo, and I haven't tried these before, so yeah, I can't really rate these, but if you have, let me know what you think. These look nice, don't they? I love Oreo, so we'll see how we get on with those. Then we have the classics, mini eggs. I'm going to give these a 10 because I feel like they are a classic. Do we agree? And they look pretty as well, don't they? You can put these on a cornflake cake and all of a sudden it's an Easter cake. You couldn't do that with one of these, for example. I just don't think it'd have the same effect, would it? It's not like speckled and pastel coloured, so there we are. <laughs> and then these, what are they? These are dairy milk. Oh, they're just dairy milk. With soft dairy milk inside. I'm sorry, I'm going to give those a three. And then we have Milky Bar Mini Eggs. I haven't tried these either, but I love Milky Bar. Milky Bar? I love milk buttons. Is that the same thing? I'm confused now. I think these might be good, you know. But again, I haven't tried them, so I can't rate them, but there we are. So next up, we have some more Easter bits. So we have some chick paper cups. These are really reasonable as well, and I really just like the simple face on these. I thought they looked quite funny, and I also thought if you did want to make up some little gifts, you could fill these up with eggs and maybe just put some cellophane over them. Maybe as well you could give these to kids if you're having like an Easter egg hunt, and they could go around and put their little eggs into these, kind of use them as those buckets. But yeah, I thought really nice. And they also have quite a lot of Easter craft supplies. So if you're looking to do any Easter crafts, they will sort you out. So we've got these, which are kind of like stickers. So they're called felt embellishments. And I thought these would be really nice to make some Easter cards with, or you could stick them onto different things. Or if you were wrapping up a gift, you could stick these on to seal up your wrapping paper with. And then they also do these polystyrene eggs, which are really good for doing crafts with. You can do all sorts of different things with these. You can stick paper onto them, you can paint them, you can dip them into paint or like do marble effect and things like that. So you get plain foam eggs, 18 in a pack. So really good going. You can also buy some skewers to poke into these and then you can add them into like floral arrangements and that sort of thing. There are DIYs on my channel already if you want to go back and have a look from previous years where I've used these to make some nice decor for Easter time. I'm thinking as well maybe a little garland as well we could string those on like a um, long piece of string or wool and thread them along it that way. And then as I am now the Easter bunny I need a friend so here we are. This is my new mate. And this was only one pound, if I remember correctly, which I think is brilliant because it is a really big size. You'll get loads of snacks onto here or loads of Easter eggs. You can put this out on the table. They also had it in a couple of different colors. So yeah, really impressed with that. It says springtime bunny tray. It'd be nice to um, have a few of them so they have got the different colors and you could lay them all out and I think they would look fab. I've got a few nice bits if you're wanting to do a bit of an Easter display, so maybe you want to decorate your mantle or a windowsill or an area of your table or that sort of thing. So first of all, they do this Easter grass, which I thought was quite nice and effective. You could pop this into a basket as well and then put the Easter eggs on top of it and just make it look quite nice and springtime-like. And then also onto this, you could add some of these Easter animals that they do. So they've got the classic little baby chicks. I always think these just look so sweet and they remind me kind of childhood. And they've even got the little wing detail on as well. So they're quite nice ones. And they also do ones in baskets as well, which are really sweet. I thought they looked fab. And then if you're not into chicks and you want some different animals for Easter time, they also do little baby lambs. So we've got these Easter lambs and these are so funny. They kind of remind me of the ones from, is it Wallace and Gromit or yeah, those sort of animations, you know, with the funny eyes. Oh, I think I might have ripped his legs off. Oh, I'm sorry, mate. I'll glue those back on. But yeah, this is how they look. And he's not looking too happy because I have just ripped his two front legs off. Um, but we will sort that out. The glue gun might have to come out on you, mate. 
And they also do these, which I think are great if you want to decorate for Easter. They're the hanging eggs. You get an eight pack of glittered eggs and it just says eight foam eggs with hanging ribbon. Really nice spring colors on there. But again, you could also DIY these if you wanted to. But these look quite nice hanging from just twiggy branches. And they also do these carrots, which I don't think I've seen before. And I thought they looked really nice with the felt detail. And you get seven in a pack. And again, these look quite nice as part of an Easter display or if you're doing some Easter crafts. Okay, so that is it for the Easter stuff. So I will lose the ears and we will move on to some homeware. So you may remember in my last Cherries haul, I picked up some really nice champagne flutes that were actually plastic, but in a cut glass design. I think they were about two pounds for a two pack. So I picked up to match those, some of these highball glasses. It says crystal effect and you get two in a box. And again, for outdoor dining or picnics and that sort of thing, I thought these were really good. Or if you're just somebody that has, you know, like a tiled kitchen floor and sometimes glasses get dropped, these could be a good shout for that as well. So let me just get one out to show you. Really nice design these, decent size. Make a lovely Long Island iced tea in that, couldn't we? So yeah, I picked up two boxes of these, so I've got four. Because occasionally these ones have been selling out, but they do tend to restock them, so. If you are after these, you should be able to get your hands on some. And then also in the home section, they had some coasters in, which I haven't seen on the site before. So they had this one, which I thought was good fun. This one says, top me up, and it's a really decent size. Let me just show you how big this is with my mug. Now bearing in mind that this is a huge mug, it still has space around it underneath. So it's a good size coaster. And they had a few different designs of these. I picked up another one. So this one says top me up. And then we have this one here that says it's coffee o'clock. And I really like the print on this one or the font on this one. It kind of reminds me of the 80s. It looks a bit like Saved by the Bell or something like that, doesn't it? Who remembers this kind of um, text from when they were younger. But yeah, I really like that. And I thought with the really simple monochrome design, it might look quite nice on my desk. So I'll probably put that by where I have my laptop and where I have my coffee when I'm working. And they also had one that was beer related as well. So if you know somebody who likes their beer, it could be a nice little gift idea for them. And then talking of gift ideas, they had a few bits in for their Mother's Day um, range. And they had this luxury candle set, which is rose candles, you get four. And then you also get the little container as well. So I thought that was a really nice gift idea. And if you don't want to give it to somebody for Mother's Day, you could always just pop that label off. And I always have a good look at their candles. I have been burning a few of their candles that I bought from the previous haul that I did. They've got some triple, triple layered ones that are quite nice. I've been burning those, but they also do Yankee candles in the smaller sizes. And I always keep an eye out for new fragrances to try out. This one is Mandarin Cinnamon Tea. Wouldn't be a bargain haul if I wasn't here sniffing candles, would it? This one smells really good. It smells kind of a bit like a nice aftershave. And then I got some shower gel. And this one I haven't tried before. This is Imperial Leather, Arctic Ocean and Icelandic Moss. Two in one hair and body for men invigorating shower gel. So this is only 250 mil, but this is a nice size to put in a wash bag. So if I'm working away, I usually like to have a shower gel to take with me. Let's give it a little sniff. It says a skin tingling blast. <laughs> so there we are. It smells nice and fresh. So yeah, it is what it is. And I also got some stationery. So they have a whole range of stationery on there. And the first thing that I picked up was these scented highlighters. I didn't realize they were going to be quite so small. However, that's actually quite handy. So I like to keep one in my pocket when I'm working. If I want to mark up any of my cards with anything important, then I like to have a pink one to hand. Pink is my preferred color to highlight in. Pink or this one here, the bright yellow. I feel like those are the two colors that make the words pop out to me. I feel like these three, they make words disappear, so it has the opposite effect with me. An orange is okay, if I have to go there, I will go there. Oh, I've just seen that the yellow is banana scented, and then we've got watermelon, blueberry, grape, orange, and strawberry. You may see me um, sniffing my highlighters at some point soon. <laughs> then also spied some of these, which are these kind of quill effect pens. They had a few different designs of this, but I just thought it looked kind of like anthropology style, the way it's been edged in the glitter. It reminds me of the coasters that you can buy in anthropology, 
with the crystal effect. Do you know the ones I'm talking about? They've got different designs. They've got ones with like half the feather dipped as well and different designs too. And yeah, again, I thought a really nice little gift idea to pop into a present for somebody. And they can pretend that they're in Bridgerton or something like that, writing to their loved ones. We've still got a couple of my favourite items to go. But first of all, we've got some cleaning supplies. So first of all, we have this drain away. So this is to unblock drains. It just says drain and blocker sinks, showers and baths quickly removes blockages. It's a three sachet value pack that you get with those. Just handy to have because recently... There has been a couple of blockages that weren't fun to deal with so if that does happen again i've got my drain away ready to go and then they also do bin liners which is something that i'll often forget to pick up so i picked up a 20 pack of refuge sacks extra value and then on to a couple of bits of homeware or things for the home i guess so they have these in store and these are on offer at the moment as buy one get one free and these are a really reasonable price compared to the command strip. So it'll be interesting to see how well these work. But they are the removable hanging strips with the Velcro. So essentially it has two sticky sides. You put the sticky side onto the wall and then the other sticky side on the other piece onto your photo frame or picture frame. And you can put them all around a picture so you can put kind of one on each corner. And then when you're done, you simply pull this strip down and it pulls out from the back and it should come off without removing any kind of paint or any plaster or anything like that from your walls. But yeah, I thought worth giving these a go because they are so much cheaper than the kind of leading brand. So yeah, it'd be interesting to see how we get on with those. So if I incorporate these in a future room makeover, I'll keep you posted as to how I get on with them. And then the last thing that I've got to show you, they have sent in this box, which is very handy. Now you can get the four pack of these for slightly cheaper. I think the four pack works out at just one pound per mug. And then if you get the 20% off as well, it will be three pounds for four. So you could get yourself a real bargain with these if you are looking to get some new coffee mugs. But these are the really simple glass mugs. They're nice and thick. So they don't look like they're going to break anytime soon. And it does say that they are microwave and dishwasher safe. But I really like these glass style mugs. I think they just look really stylish, really classic. They also have a lower design, so like a teacup design as well, if you're interested. But I'm imagining all sorts of things in here. I mean, lovely for morning coffee time out on the garden. I'm thinking that would look fab. Also for tea, where you can see the leaves, it'd be quite nice to just be able to make your tea and be able to see kind of how strong it is if you're a tea drinker. And also I was thinking as, I mean, we're months ahead, but you know me, I like to get organized. As we go into Christmas time, I can't believe I'm saying that in a video that's going up before Easter, but keep it in mind. I'm thinking mulled wine in there. Imagine that with the little cinnamon sticks poking out. What are we thinking? So very good indeed, really good value, and even better if you want to get yourself a four pack, as I say, it works out at one pound each or even less. So that is everything that I've got to show you from Cherry. So I hope you enjoyed the haul. Let me know if anything in this haul did catch your eye and if you are going to be shopping with cherries, if any of these items that I've shown you will be falling into the basket or the digital basket. And don't forget you can take advantage of those discount codes. So if you are a returning shopper, you'll get your free postage, but you do need to use that in the next two weeks. And if you're new to cherries, you can use my code to get your 20% off your first order. So do make the most of that if you decide to shop with them. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do give it a little thumbs up. And if you're new here, do click subscribe for new videos every single week. I'm going to put my rabbit ears back on and get involved with my Easter eggs. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye! Today I have got a haul. So whether you're stocking up for Easter, makes a nice decor for Easter time. Decor? I was a bit abrupt in... Be careful as you take these off because they were stuck down onto the cardboard.